Hey guys, and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. Today, I'm back with another week of fun but easy lunch ideas. And this week, I'm making all hot lunches and no sandwiches at all. Oh yes, and all of the lunches this week are super quick and easy to make, no complicated recipes or anything like that. Now, if you're new here, please hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and click the bell notification. That way, you won't miss out on any of our new videos. And speaking of missing out, did you guys happen to catch yesterday's video? I made a special lunch for one of my favorite YouTubers, Mariah Elizabeth. And seriously, I think it was my favorite lunch I've ever made. So definitely go check out that video. If you haven't already, I will link it down below. And without further ado, let's get on to the lunches. Hey friends, and welcome to Meatless Monday, which is just like it sounds, there's no meat in today's lunch, and we're cool with that. And as you can tell, I'm kinda going with a Mario theme today. Now I love Mario, and his game on Nintendo was super popular when I was a kid. We didn't have Fortnite, we didn't have Minecraft, we had Mario, but I have to say, I was really bad at it. But anyway, back to the lunches. And since it's Meatless Monday, I'm going with a vegetarian chili. I have an excellent recipe for this. I will link it down below if you're curious. But basically, this is just leftovers. The best hot lunch, I think, are always leftovers. Now, I'm not going super crazy on the Mario theme today, but I do wanna make a fun little treat for the lunch. For this, I'm using some red apples, some marshmallows, and some toothpicks. And basically, by combining a slice of apple and half of a marshmallow, I am left with something that kind of looks like a toadstool from the game. For our vegetable today, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some sugar snap peas. The kids have really been liking these recently. So I'm gonna put as many as I can fit in here. Now to go along with our vegetarian chili, that's already in the thermos, I'm gonna go ahead and give the kids some shredded cheddar cheese and a little squeeze bottle of sour cream. That way they can top their own chili when they're ready to eat it. My kids really like when their lunch has a DIY aspect. Up next in the lunch, I'm gonna throw in some crackers. And since this is a Mario themed lunch, I went with these star shaped ones. And to make these star crackers even better, I'm gonna take my food writer pen and draw a couple of eyes on just a few pieces. Not on all of them, I'm not gonna go crazy. Although I could, but not today. It'll make the lunch look cute, but it won't take a lot of time. Next, I'm adding a very special treat to today's lunch. I know the kids will love it. It's just a bag of Mario themed fruit snacks. And last but not least, the drink for today. I'm gonna throw in this good old fruit punch drink pouch. I get these from Trader Joe's and they're pretty good. They don't have as much sugar, but the kids still like them. Now that is everything in the, wait a minute. I don't think that there's enough fruit in this lunch today. There's really just a few little slices of apple. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a mandarin orange as well. It just fits so nicely in my lunch box, and now the lunch is complete. Okay guys, lunch is over now. It's time to see what they thought. First up, I have Lily. What'd you think, Lil? My favorite was the oranges. Yeah, I have to say, these oranges are actually really good. Sometimes I get them from the store and they're really sour and it's kind of a bummer, but these ones are really good. And Lily ate her whole orange. I really like the cheese crackers too. Okay, Jack, what did you think of today's lunch? I liked it. What was your favorite part? The cheese stars. The cheese crackers? Mm -hmm. Okay, Kenzie, what did you think? Was it, it was really good. Did you like putting your own toppings on your chili? Yeah. Kind of a DIY. What was your favorite part? Hmm, my favorite part was those crackers, like the star crackers. Those are good, huh? Mm -hmm. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey there, and welcome to Tuesday. Today I'm super excited about the lunch because I'm going with sort of a carnival slash circus theme. I found all these things at Hobby Lobby quite a long time ago and I've just been holding on to them for the right week. Now I'm a huge fan of the show, The Greatest Showman, so I love this theme. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever seen The Greatest Showman. It's definitely one of my top five favorite movies of all time. Now there's a lot of different foods that come to mind when I'm thinking about the circus and the carnival, but 
I decided to go with something I know my kids would love and that's mini corn dogs. These are chicken corn dogs. They're already fully cooked so all I have to do is pop them in either the microwave or the toaster for about five minutes. Now that these are nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and stick them in my thermoses. And when I'm packing foods like this in the thermos, I also like to add a little piece of paper towel. The paper towel can absorb any extra moisture in there. I don't expect these to stay crispy until lunchtime, but they should stay warm. To go along with these mini corn dogs, of course I'm gonna give the kids some ketchup and mustard. Next, I'm gonna throw in some cucumber slices, but these are really special cucumber slices because for my birthday last week, I got a new vegetable cutter. Super exciting, I know, but it is to me because I love making lunches fun. So for this cutter, I can actually make crinkle cut cucumbers. See, just like that. It was really easy, but you do have to be careful with these cutters because they're super sharp. For our fruit today, I'm going with a combination of red grapes, green grapes, and blueberries, and I went ahead and added them to some picks just for fun. Now to go along with this lunch, I had a hard time deciding between adding popcorn or peanuts, but I went ahead and went with peanuts because I did popcorn last week. But these are actually roasted and salted in the shell peanuts. These definitely make me think of the carnival. Next to that, I'm gonna add this teeny tiny Greek yogurt tube. And then last but not least, the treat for today, of course, is some circus animal crackers. Now my kids kind of think of these as a baby cookie, so I'm not quite sure if they'll like them, but I just think they're so cute and they totally go with today's theme. Lunch is over now. And here's what they ate. Good job, guys. What did you think of the circus slash carnival lunch? I liked it, it was cool. I thought it looked really cool. It definitely reminded me of The Greatest Showman, which I love that movie. You guys like it? Yeah. yeah. No. No, well, two like and one doesn't. Okay, so tell me what was your favorite thing out of this entire lunch? My favorite thing was the... Uh, the mini corn dogs, dogs yeah. Um, I like those too. Yeah, you know what this lunch was missing? What? Cotton candy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but no, we didn't do that. What, would, what about you, Lily? What was your favorite? Um, angle cracker? She keeps asking me what kind of animals these crackers are, but it's really kind of hard to tell. Kenzie, did you say your favorite? Yeah, I said the corn dogs. Oh, all right, well, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi friends, and welcome to Wednesday. Whenever I'm looking for new food ideas, I literally will walk up and down the aisles at the grocery store just to find some new interesting things to try. So for today's lunch, I'm gonna start by heating up some of this vegetable tikka masala. It's already fully cooked, it's vegetarian, it's gluten-free. Now I've had this before and I think it's really good, but I don't think my kids have had this kind, so we shall see. I'm gonna go ahead and serve this with some brown rice. This is just leftover brown rice from the night before, so all I had to do was heat it up super quick and easy. Now just a few thermos tips. I always like to preheat my thermoses by adding some boiling hot water. I let the hot water hang out in there for about 30 minutes, then I dump it out and quickly add my food. And sometimes it can be really messy trying to get the food into the thermos, so I use this really wide funnel. This is made for canning, but it works perfect for filling thermoses. I'll go ahead and put a link to the one that I have on Amazon if you wanna check it out. For our vegetable today, I'm gonna throw in some cauliflower with some ranch, but this is actually a Greek yogurt-based ranch, so it's a little bit lighter. And then for the fruit today, I'm gonna add something I know Lily will be excited to see. She's been asking for these for days because she loves them. These are the apple mango fruit sauce pouches, and I get these at Trader Joe's. Next up, I have a snack that none of us have tried ever before. I think they're called chapata mazaa. I have no idea. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below. How do you pronounce that? I'm not sure. But this was on the aisle with sort of um, the Indian food at Walmart, so I thought we could give them a try. They say that they're baked and made with whole grains and they're not spicy, so. We shall see if the kids like them or not. Next up from that same Indian food section of the grocery store, I found these interesting little cookies. These are called hide and seek. It's like a square cookie with chocolate chips inside. The packaging claims that these are made with the world's best chocolate, but at the end of the day, it's a chocolate cookie, so how bad can it be? So that box has several of these packages, which are kind of big. I think the kids could probably share just one package. 
And then last but not least, I'm gonna throw in a tiny can of mango juice. You guys will also be seeing these juices in our special subscriber lunch video, which comes out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And there you have it, there's everything in the lunch for today. Okay guys, lunch is over and I'm so surprised that most everything is gone, especially this. I wasn't sure if they'd like it. I was really surprised about these snacks. They smell different, something I'm not used to, but they actually taste really good. Jackson loved them, but the girls, not so much. I don't know, Kenzie, what was your favorite? Hmm, my favorite was actually the hide and seek cookies. Those are delicious. Yeah, these are so good. I've never had these before, but apparently they're really popular in India, so let me know if you like these. What do you think, Lily? What was your favorite part? My favorite was the crackers. The little cookies? Yeah. Oh. I like the mango applesauce too. Yeah, she liked them so much, she ended up having two of them. So Jackson, we already know that you really like these, but did you like anything else? I like the rice. The rice was good too? Yeah, mm -hmm. you like the curry? Mm -hmm. See, See you tomorrow. tomorrow! Hey guys, and welcome to Thursday. Now the goal for today's lunch is to keep it gluten-free. I know a lot of you guys have special dietary needs, and I wanna try to work those in the lunches as often as I can. So for today's lunch, I'm actually gonna start by heating up some of these gluten-free chicken nuggets from Trader Joe's. Now these are actually really good chicken nuggets. I know some are like questionable in quality, but these ones are really good, especially for gluten-free. Even if you don't have to be gluten-free, these will still taste good to you. I like to bake these in the oven until they're crispy. It doesn't take very long because they're fully cooked already, and then I just stick them into the thermoses. Now to go along with the chicken, I'm going to make a special honey mustard sauce. And I don't really have a recipe for this, but what I like to do is take half mayonnaise and half mustard. Next, I'm adding a teaspoon of honey, followed by a little sprinkling of garlic powder and onion powder. I'm adding a little shake of salt and pepper, and then I just mix it all together. And I kid you not, this tastes just as good as the honey mustard sauce from Chick-fil-A. Next, I'm gonna throw in plenty of veggies, a combination of celery and carrots. And I'm not gonna forget the ranch. Again, this is the yogurt-based uh, ranch. So I just have a little bit of that in this container. For the fruit today, I'm adding a scoop of blueberries. Except for that blueberry. Where does he think he's going? Blueberries do not taste good in honey mustard. Next, I'm gonna throw in another yogurt tube. This is the Chapani Greek yogurt. And then for an added snack today, I'm gonna throw in bugles. Have you guys ever tried these? They're actually really good. But wait a minute. Oh no, I forgot. Bugles are not gluten free, you guys. This will not do for today's lunch. Yeah, there's wheat in these. I'm gonna put those back. Let's see, Doritos. I'm pretty sure Doritos are gluten free. Yes, I think they'll be fine. So we'll go ahead and put Doritos instead. And then last but not least, I have a sweet treat for the lunch. These are oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. These are gluten-free and they're vegan, so I'm excited to give them a try. And there you have it. It was a close call, but we made it. This lunch is gluten-free. Lunch is over now, and here's what we ate. Overall, the kids did really well today. In fact, all of the chicken nuggets are gone. Even Miss Lily, who's not usually a fan of chicken nuggets, ate all of them, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. And I think I know why. Everyone who really liked the honey mustard sauce that I made, I will definitely be making that again. But nobody ended up wanting any chips, so we still have all the chips left over. We'll save those for another time. What did you think, Lily? What was your favorite? Um, the chicken. Chicken, and you yeah. really liked the mustard? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'd have to say these guys were just okay. They were kind of hard, so for the price, I would probably make my own from scratch next time. What about you, Kenzie? What do you think? It was really cool. What was your favorite? I really like the chicken nuggets. Yeah, everyone really liked those. And usually I don't like mustard, but I really like the honey mustard. It's pretty good. What'd you think, Jack? I really liked it. <laughs> you gotta always say that. But what was your favorite? Um, it's the chicken. The chicken is definitely the winner today. See you tomorrow. Hey friends, and happy Friday. For today's lunch, I'm bringing back something I used to do quite a lot. 
last year, and that was having breakfast for lunch. It's brunch, <laughs> we're having brunch. Okay, yeah, we're having brunch. It's breakfast and lunch. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and make some oatmeal. It's been a long time since I've made oatmeal for the kids, and again, this is a gluten-free oatmeal. I get this at Trader Joe's, and it's pretty good. Now for my kids, they enjoy peanut butter and honey added to their oatmeal, so that's what I'm gonna do for them. To go along with our breakfast for lunch, I'm also gonna throw in this strawberry yogurt smoothie, some celery with peanut butter. I love to dip celery in peanut butter. Next, I'm going to add some dried apricots. I found these at Trader Joe's, and it's three individual packages and it was only like a buck 50. So these seem really convenient if you're on the go. They're easy and quick to throw into lunches. Next, I'm gonna throw in some of these pea crisps. These are the Trader Joe's version. They're pretty much exactly like the ones I get from Costco though. Next, I'm gonna add this teeny tiny baby pear to the lunch today. It is so cute and tiny and they're perfectly ripe right now. And then to drink today, the kids have a choice between water or they could pick one of these juice bottles. And these are in the fruit punch flavor. And there we have it, there's Friday's lunch. Lunch is over now, and here's what we ate. Good job. All right, guys, what'd you think of breakfast for lunch? It was interesting. Yeah? What's your favorite oatmeal topping? My favorite's actually bananas. Banana? Oh, I'll have to put bananas next time. I think we're almost out of bananas. What about you, Lily? What was your favorite thing today? My favorite is the strawberry yogurt and the apricots. What about you, Jack? I just like the strawberries. My favorite was the inner peas. Make sure to come back tomorrow for the subscriber lunches. Thanks for watching. See you next time.